They're lined up in their thousands. East Timor is proud of its democracy, with more than 80% of the population registered to vote. Just look at the capital city, Dili. It's difficult to get electricity and clean water. The party I choose must fix the roads, electricity and provide clean water. That is what I want from the new government. The winning party must work with other parties for the next government. No one can claim the victory by themselves. Everyone must work together to build this nation for the good of the people. Seventeen parties are contesting this election. The National Congress for Timorese Reconstruction is led by Janana Guzmao, who was a rebel commander during the Indonesian occupation. He's trying to push the country's oldest party, Fretilin, out of government and is challenging fellow freedom fighter and current Prime Minister Mari al -Katiri. The two were allies in the struggle for independence. Now they are political rivals. That group of leaders is very important to Timorese uh, nationhood. They are approaching 80. Shinana will be 80 in a few years and the others are not far behind him. So this is a really critical election because it's likely to be the one in which there's a political transition to a younger generation. This is the fifth parliamentary election since East Timor gained independence from Indonesia in 2002. Important issues for voters include the economy, which is heavily dependent on oil and gas, as well as securing new income from tourism and agriculture. Guzmao says the solution lies in the Greater Sunrise Exploration Project, located between East Timor and Australia, but it's been stalled for years over negotiations on where to process the gas. The region's going to be keeping an eye on the election because of the implications it holds for the greater Sunrise hydrocarbon field and its development, which is located off the south coast of the country. And Timor-Leste needs foreign investment to develop that field. The youth vote is expected to determine the winner, with 75% of the voting population younger than 35. If there's no outright majority, the party with the most votes will have to negotiate with smaller parties to form a coalition. That could take weeks. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera.